be sure to check out my Vivi and Omi Investors Group in the description down below. Together we build generational wealth and go over everything you need to be profitable in the VV markets. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, we're going to be talking about a major topic that I've been getting asked about a lot, and it's surrounding a member, a former member, member of the VV team. From my understanding, Trevor is no longer with VV or Ecomi, and people have been asking me about that. Do I have any news? Do I have any information? Now, I want to start by saying I do not have any insider information about any of this. This is going to be 100% speculative. This is gonna be some of my thoughts just based on some things that I've been noticing around the community and noticing around the atmosphere and, and the tides t seeming to change when it comes down to VV. So that being said, be sure to drop the thumbs up on the video, subscribe, turn on notifications and, and put on your tinfoil hats and let, let, let's watch me turn this bullish. <laughs> Yo, seriously though, man, it's like, I don't know, like it could be something completely negative, like, but it's like, I see it in a bullish way because I think that, I think one well, the first signs that it's not something negative is that Reese and Trevor, like they still follow each other. There still seems to be support there. Um, v Trevor has not said anything negative or anything. He still follows the project, engages with the community and things like that as well. Um, Trevor's still active with the community, even if he's promoting and, and focusing on what he's, you know what his new job is what what he what he cares about more um also i knew that he was getting he's been getting passionate about his own project as well and it, it looked interesting it was an interesting concept when he showed it to me um yeah so that being said let, let's get into some speculation so why would trevor not be a part of vivi anymore i mean well, well if we look at if we look at trevor and where he came from right he started at riot riot games um, and he was kind of lower on the totem pole. I think he was what a junior developer there or a junior lighting expert there or something like, like, I know that he wasn't one of the top guys on the totem pole. So, so when you look at him and the amazing job that he did while he was on VV, like to my knowledge, to, to for, based on what I could see, he was doing an amazing job. He like, when we talked to him in interviews, I had him on the channel. Um, it was just always an amazing conversation. It was always a lot of very, very informative and. Um, I always got to learn a lot. I got to earn, learn a lot about the inner workings of game development and stuff like that, which is always cool. You all know I have, well, you might not know, but I have another gaming channel and gaming has just been my life, my whole life. So it's always great hearing it from his perspective because he has so much insights into that world. Now, let's talk about this from a business standpoint. We know some of the things that's been going on with Vivi right now is Vivi and Ecomi, they're now separating that. They just said these two entities have been separated because VV with what it's earning with the position that VV's in now it just makes sense for VV to be able to stand on its own. I've been telling you all since I heard them say that that I think that this is preparation for a play. I think this is preparation for a play. Now, taking that into consideration, when you're thinking about do, do you like just from a business standpoint, this is not no, no, I'm not trying to disrespect Trevor or anything or, you know, just speak out of place or, or to speak bad on anyone in any aspect. Just from a logical standpoint, if VV is about to be its own entity, um, it's going to take like somebody with experience leading a lot more than a junior developer would have, you know, like you want a senior in that spot. You want somebody who's been there and done that, who's led projects, who, who's led companies on the scale of VV. So whether it's Vivi's decision, Vivi could have made the decision that, okay, we're separating Ecomi and Vivi, we're gonna separate, we're gonna, well, we'll differentiate. Now, I'm not gonna say separate, we're gonna differentiate. Um, and we need somebody in place for the Vivi side, for the Vivi collectibles and stuff like that, who we're positive can handle this on their own as a senior level, you know, at a senior level. So that could have been a decision that came down for maybe Vivi, but also you look at it from, a, um, from maybe a, a standpoint where, okay, this company might be getting acquired or somebody might be putting money behind it or, you know, some people, somebody might be trying to work with the VV team, but, you know, maybe, like, l l let's just use Disney as an example since that's the one that people always talk about. If Disney wanted to get involved with VV, would they be okay with a junior developer running things behind the scenes? Would they be okay with that? that that's just how you have to think about it. If I'm Disney 
And this guy who's who I don't like this, like we, we work with the best in the world right now. We're on a level where we're working with the best in the world. And you're telling me a junior from 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 Riot, not even the main League of Legends game, League of Legends, Rune Terra, like and and like obviously this that's that's a huge accomplishment. Like what, what Trevor has been able to do is a huge accomplishment compared to me, but compared compared to Disney, if you're a company at Disney size, you damn near would be could, could you could belittle that. Now, I'm not saying this is Disney's viewpoint at all. Like I said, this is 100% speculative. This is 100% speculative, but I could see a scenario where Disney's like, uh, we want somebody a little bit more qualified to fill this position. Somebody we're confident can get the job done. Somebody we're confident can can be a, 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 a liaison between our companies, between our different um all these different businesses be working with these different people and stuff like that. Somebody who can who can manage things a lot better and has a proven experience and track record for management. Or maybe the role that Trevor was playing because we knew that he he was like in the middle. Everybody was like in this kind of middle thing wearing so many hats. Like maybe maybe he just didn't specialize well enough for the company. I feel like maybe he just didn't like maybe he maybe his specialist specializing in lighting Maybe his specializing in lighting and being that high of a role isn't as attractive to a company is like like Disney, or maybe that's just not a, a role that's as important or as needed. Um, so if you look at some of the biggest things like the um the showroom, he he didn't have anything to do with that. There's a lot of lighting and stuff going on in that showroom, and Trevor didn't like Trevor was more so seems to be like a project manager that that's that appeared to be his role. So yeah, when you when you think about it. I just feel like no matter how you spin it with this with this reorganizing the company that Vivi and Ecomi has done, do do would v, would Ecomi want Trevor in that same position? Can't like would they want a junior in that same position? If you look at it from a Disney coming in trying to do something, get something cooking with Ecomi, would 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 they want him in that position? So like I said, I don't know what happened. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if I'm anywhere close. I could be way off the mark. Um, but this is just like, this is just some some speculation, some of the thoughts that comes to my mind. I, like I said, I don't think that anything ended badly. I don't think that this was terrible. Like like Trevor, like don't like the project or something. I think that if if this he left this opportunity, I think that it was more than likely because of maybe VV didn't probably that VV didn't want him there. VV, VV, VV didn't didn't feel that they had a need for his skill set anymore, or maybe his passion. Like it could have been completely Trevor. Trevor could have been a lot more passionate about what he was working on. I know he's been working on his game a lot, but maybe the reason that he was working on his game is because he felt like it wasn't going to work out on at VV. Um, and also, you wouldn't want to V as as, as if you're VV, you don't want to come out and say oh, we had to let Trevor go or something like this. You don't want, you don't want them, it, it, like, depending, it doesn't matter who it is. If Trevor comes out and says, Vivi, like, Vivi wasn't what he thought it was going to be, it makes Vivi look bad. If Vivi comes out and says, Trevor, like, it, it didn't work out for this, re it makes Trevor look bad, especially for his next employers. When you have a company the size of Vivi, especially how Vivi has grown and blew up, like, you're at one of the largest companies in the world and you, it barely gets, it barely takes off and you're gone already it's like it, it would look bad with like so it's like i don't think that there's a, a real way to get an answer about what happened I, and i don't, honestly don't think that it, that it even really matters man i mean as long as trevor's happy doing what he's doing now um as long as the vv is, is still okay vv everything's going well on the vv side of things Honestly, I think this restructuring, this reorganizing and stuff that's taking place, I think it's it's moves for a big play. I've been saying that a lot lately, and I'll, I'll stand by that. I feel like something big is going on. Some big changes are happening. I don't know who's behind these changes, um, what what's what the changes are going to be, um, the implications of these changes, how massive, um, how massive of an impact this is going to have on the NFT space, the metaverse space, like, who knows? Who knows what this is going like? What's going to happen, man? Um, I just feel like I feel like I, I feel like it just wasn't a partnership that made sense anymore for the direction that one of both or both parties was going in. Um, and Vivi is clear. Vivi has come out and said that they they have done restructuring and stuff like that. They've like they've been making some changes in the company. So based on that information, that's why I assume that it just like his role may not have been needed anymore. 
and he didn't really fit elsewhere. Like, like can Vivi afford to just have a have a lighting expert here, or do you want like do you want somebody a little bit more qualified who's who's an expert in lighting and then but then an expert in a lot of stuff that's a lot more important than lighting. Like, so who would you who would you rather have running things in in Trevor's position? Um, I think that at the time Trevor was needed. And he did an amazing job, but I think that he may have maybe reached a ceiling for that role. Um, that's just how business works sometimes. Is it fair? Um, I don't know. Like I said, this, like this, this is a hundred percent speculation. It, it might, none of this might not have happened at all or anywhere close to this. Like it could have just like just been a situation that, that yeah, that's completely different. But this is my thoughts. This is my speculation on the the whole issue. Um, let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel about it. I don't see this as a bad thing i don't see this as anything negative towards any any party involved but let me hear what you all have to say be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe turn on notifications so you stay updated and yeah i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one man peace out yo